Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your new OmniFob, get it paired to the Keyport app, get it paired to Chipolo and start running some devices. So the first thing when you get your OmniFob is go ahead and plug it in with the provided USB-C cord. When you plug it in, the red light comes on and the red light will go off when it's 100% charged. I'm not gonna leave it plugged in for the demo. The next thing you wanna do is go get the Keyport app in the App Store or Google Play. Once you have it downloaded, go ahead and open and create an account. I already have an account, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. Once you're signed in, it brings you to the home screen and you're gonna go ahead and click Add OmniFob. So I wanna show you a couple features on the OmniFob. There's two buttons. This is the mode button, which toggles through the menu. And this is the select button to select what's in the menu right now. See, I'm on flashlight. I click the button and the flashlight comes on. I can scroll through, go back, and that will get me to the main menu. And I wanna scroll to Bluetooth pair. That I have to actively click that button to pair it to the phone. So I'm gonna scan for OmniFob, and this is going to search for all the OmniFobs in within Bluetooth range of your phone. And as you can see, I have a few available. <clears throat> if you bought more than one, you'll see all of them on the list here. The way to identify it is in the menu, it tells you the number right on the device. So this is Keyport 02. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Keyport 02 and I'm going to name my OmniFob. You can name it whatever you want, up to 16 characters. I'm gonna call this one OmniFob. I click done. Now before I hit save, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna to scroll to Bluetooth pair and I, you have to hit the select button and then hit save and that puts it in pairing mode and you'll get this indication to pair it to Bluetooth. So I'm gonna click pair. And now my OmniFob is paired to my phone and I'm ready to start adding devices. So since I logged in to my account that I, I already had all my hubs authorized and enabled, there's a separate video on how to enable your hubs. For this, per, for this video, I'm just gonna show you how to add devices and routines. So on the status screen, it tells you if you're connected, the battery percentage, this is how you unpair it. And then you've got your connected devices and your scenes and routines. So when I click add a device, as you can see all the devices <clears throat> that I already have enabled because my hubs are enabled, if you click on enable hubs and apps, it shows that all my hubs are already enabled. I've got Next Garage, Samsung Smart Things, and you know me already enabled. So like I said, there's a separate video of how to enable your hubs and apps. I'm gonna go ahead and add a device. Here, I'm gonna add my Hue Bloom, and you can name all your devices, you can rename them. This is pulling in the name I have in SmartThings, but I can go ahead and, and name it whatever I want. I'm just gonna call this one Hue Bloom and click Save. Every time you do that, as you can see, it, it pulled up in the OmniFob menu, so now that device is available to be controlled on my OmniFob. Also, the Quick Controls menu appeared. As soon as you add one device, you'll see the Quick Controls menu, and we'll show you how to do that, how to set up quick controls in a minute. I've got this Hue Bloom right here, and I'm gonna show you, when I click the select button, it's gonna go to a sub menu on off. When I click on, it's already controlling this Hue Bloom, and then I can click it off from the same menu. And that's the advantage of the SmartThings devices is you can do on off from the same menu. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go into add scene and routine. 
and I've got all my scenes from SmartThings that are programmed in the SmartThings app, and I've got all my routines that are programmed in the Unomi app already here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do Bloom on. and bloom off from you know me. Now, this is gonna turn this light on and off, but you, the cool thing about scenes and routines is that you can connect unlimited devices to control them in one click. So I, I have another scene here called light, and that turns on three or four lights in my house, including this hue bloom. So now, as you can see, all the connected devices on the list here and the scenes and routines, I can scroll, toggle through my Omnifob and all the names appear. So I can control the Hue Boom as a device, which I already showed you. And I can also do it through the Unomi routine when I click Bloom on and then Bloom off here. And then I can also use the light scene which this hue bloom is part of that scene. So there are multiple ways to control the same device, depending on if you have a smart, smart things hub or you know me, and you can get really creative with setting up your, your scenes and routines. Now I'm gonna show you quickly how to do quick controls. Now this is the best part about Omnifob in my opinion, you can set any number of actions to do your control your devices, scenes and routines quickly. For example, I can set long press to any of the devices and uh, scenes and routines that I, I have added already to my Omnifob. So as you can see, these are all the scenes, routines and devices I already have on my menu. I can select one of them along with the flashlight. You can do a flashlight quick control. So now when I long press the select button, that means four seconds, the flashlight will come on. And you can turn it off by holding it for another four seconds. It comes in pretty handy to, to have the flashlight as a quick control. Now I can go to three X press select button and I can set Hue Bloom via Smart Things, save. Now, when I triple click, the Hue Bloom comes on that way. So you don't even have to look at your phone screen or at your Omnifob screen. You can just reach into your pocket and when you memorize the clicks you've set up, you can quickly access everything. So I'll do it one more time and that turns the Hue Bloom off. Now that we have our Omnifob paired to the keyboard app, we're ready to set up Chipolo, the built-in Bluetooth locator. Just click on the Chipolo icon here on the bottom right, and you're gonna tap the set up Chipolo on Omnifob button. And if you already have the Chipolo app downloaded on your phone, you're good to go. If not, go ahead and tap this button. That's gonna take you to the app store where you can download the Chipolo app. Since I already have it downloaded, I'm ready to start setup. So make sure you create an account in Chipolo and that the app is, is already open. Go, on, go ahead and come back to the keyboard app and you're gonna tap pair with Chipolo. That's gonna take you back to the Chipolo app and it's already recognized that you're setting up your Omnifob. Go ahead and tap add now and it's gonna automatically pair. And as you can see, I've got my Omnifob already in here. It was that easy. When you tap ring to find, you can always find your Omnifob when it's in Bluetooth range of your phone. And you can also go backwards if you navigate to the Chipolo menu on your Omnifob and tap locate. 
you can find your phone from your OmniFob. Now, something to note, if you get an error when you're setting up your Chipolo, it's probably because you just got the app and you haven't given it permission for Bluetooth. So just navigate in settings to permissions and Bluetooth and make sure it's checked. And in that case, you'd be able to go back through the same steps we just did and pair it successfully. There's one more feature that you're going to want to know about here, and that is take a selfie. So in the Chipolo menu, you go to camera trigger. And there we go, I just took a selfie. So you can set up your phone across the room or on a tripod and you can take a group photo without having someone else do it. It's a pretty nice feature. There you go, that's a quick Chipolo demo. Have fun with it.